Hello, this is Kathy from uh, Harriet's Papery, and we're going to make some music pocket, music paper pockets, excuse me, today. And we talked about this last week. I said maybe we could make these. So we're doing it today. So we're going to use this, some of this music paper from this book, and some of the bigger paper from this book. I found both of these in a thrift store and they were books that were just falling apart so you know I didn't tear up perfectly good music books for this project these were books that were already ready to fall apart so I'll pull off the sheet here and I also have one sheet of just like a, a printable that we're going to do one of these pockets with. I'm going to show you some that I have in my Etsy shop that I made in the past. So you can kind of see what we're doing. So this one was made with the bigger paper. And it's got this pocket here. And I used just some wallpaper to cover up the seam there so that I could make a pocket on the back. And these little kits, if you like them, they are available in my Etsy shop. They're all one of a kind. And there's this one that was made um, also with the big paper, but made sideways. And then I made just a tuck on the back side here. And then we have this little one here. It was also done kind of sideways and I made the inside a pocket so I can stick this little tag in there and we have another one of these it's made the same as the first one I believe the first one actually also had a pocket in the top and was reinforced with a book page to do that All right, so let's get started. I like to take and sort of fold them down like this and fold that and fold here. And it's kind of fun. You get the little copyright date there. That won't matter. Okay. And then, you kind of have to find your midpoint, and I usually just do like this tiny almost pinch there, so that I know I'm going to meet my paper at over here. And it's folded there. And there. All right. So you can leave this open for a little tuck spot or you can glue it down. It's totally up to you. Um, I think that today we're going to just get the glue for starters I thought that I was so prepared had all my stuff but you always forget something right okay so maybe I'll grab a book page too so we can reinforce this
All right, so we have a page here. Looks like we need to narrow it down a little. Not such straight cutting, um, but that's okay. It's going on the inside, and it's not really going to be seen. All right. So we'll just glue these flaps down to the book page. I don't want to glue the book page down on the bottom so if you want to make this into a pocket you have to close up the bottom well it's just like uh, things will slip through but if you want things to be able to slip through then that's totally fine to not glue it down all right so I hope things are going good where you are. We keep continuing to have wintry weather. We got a little bit of snow last night. And um, I think we're supposed to get some more tonight. But the good news is all the snow that we got the other day when I last filmed, that all melted. Which was kind of nice to... Get back to seeing dirt. And it just soaked into the ground, which is awesome because then it will grow grass for our cows to eat, which is super important for us. All right, so we've got most of a pocket there. I mean, that is super quick. Now, I will probably go back later and put a little piece of wallpaper over this so that it's not popping open like that and catching on things when I go to use it. Pretty easy. Now we're going to set that aside because we're going to do some more with it later. Now, we have this one. And... What side do I need? So I'm use that side. Okay. A fold this let me see yeah I'll fold it like that and then Hmm, how wide do I want this thing to be? It's hard to decide sometimes. Okay, we're gonna go like that. And like that. Maybe it can fold out. Or you can glue it all down. Maybe like that. So let's uh, run some glue along here. Glue this down. So we'll make kind of a tuck spot back here. And I think that we'll leave it so this side opens. Move that down so it's a pocket. I 
So this one's a little different than the ones I showed you, but it does kind of the same thing. And they're just so super easy to do. I love it. And now we have this um, paper. Um, this is actually from the kit that I used last week from Anna's Wonderland. So we're going to hold this one up like this. And since there's nothing printed on the back, we're just going to fold that all the way back down. And then we're going to glue it down. I have an idea I'm going to do here. Hmm. Hopefully this works. Hopefully it works, folks. Sometimes things work out different than you wanted them to, but still, still they work out. Okay. So I think that I am going to unfold this and tear some of this off after I so painstakingly glued it. Otherwise it's going to be a little too bulky. I've actually never made one of these out of this paper before, so you guys are watching the experiment right now to see how it works. Oh my. A little more glue than we needed there. Okay. And then we're going to glue this flap down. No, like I don't really like glue sticks. I know a lot of people use glue sticks, but everything I've ever made with a glue stick eventually falls apart, and I kind of want the stuff I make to last like for a really long time. So I don't use glue sticks very much. Okay, so I'm going to glue this so that it makes a pocket. All right, just like that, and a little bit in there, and the outside pocket. I'm so good with my glue today. Wow, so much glue. All right, there's another pocket, a little bit heavier weight than the music paper. Here we go. So now what we are going to do is we are going to put texture paste on this guy. So what we're going to need is a knife and stencils to choose from. And I use this paper plate. You can see it's been used for a, a bunch of times. And a paper towel. 
and also texture paste. You can buy this stuff any hardware store pretty much will have it. Um, Home Depot, Lowe's, those kind of places. This is the same texture that you put on your walls. Like when you need to fix something or if you're building a new room on your house, whatever you're doing. Same thing. Super cheap, super awesome. So... Hmm, let's see if I, yeah, that'll fit on there. Okay, so I'm just going to take this texture paste and start squishing it in there. And some um, stencils like this one, you got to be kind of careful because those little intricate parts can get bent really easy by your knife. I have found that out several times. I haven't broke any yet, so I mean that's a bonus. So I like to kind of cake it on there. And I do kind of like it to be even all across the stuff that I'm doing. All right, and then get all our stuff out of the way here so we can like not be distracted. All right, and we just carefully lift that up and then we let it dry and look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I love it and I just love the simplicity of it, how easy it is to do. These are a really super easy project to do to make ephemera for your junk journals or for happy mail or, you know, just for like a standalone project. It's really cute and fun. Anyway, you guys have a great day. Bye.